It's not intellectual, it's not smart, it's deception, and it's bullshit. I'm done. I'm not making any more political videos on this channel. So, you're gonna have to get your commentary somewhere else with less big rigs. I keep getting comments on my Innuendo Studios debunking streams that, well, they've been a while. I, I don't know. People keep commenting on them for some reason. Uh, their fans just can't stop showing up and going, Wow, dude, you're so wrong. How are you so wrong? Uh, some guy showed up today and actually tried to pull this pseudo-intellectual teardown of my latest one, which was the hour-and-a-half stream instead of the four-hour stream, talking about how I agree with 80% of what he's saying, and it's, it's dumb shit. It's always dumb shit with you people. And here's the reason that you're never going to be able to beat me in any kind of argument. You can take all of the stuff that I was about to say right there and condense it down to one simple thing. You're not going to watch those videos all the way through. You're skimming those videos. Thanks, Messenger. You're skimming those videos. You're not actually watching them. You're looking for things that you can go after. You're not actually listening to what I say. So, whenever it comes down to it, you can't beat me because you can't participate in the conversation properly in the first place. But, let's assume that you could participate in the conversation properly in the first place. You still won't beat me. Get over it. You are intellectually incapable of tearing down my arguments. I'd love to see you try, but you'll fail every time, so you might as well give it up. The problem with Ian is that he works from a reverse scientific method. He has solutions in search of problems. He has answers in search of the questions that lead to them. And this ideology that Ian Danskin and everybody from BreadTube and everybody from so-called leftist YouTube in general tends to use is bullshit. It's not logical. It's a perversion of the scientific method. You know what you want your agenda to be, and you find ways, elaborate ways often, very well-refined ways, to make that work. The problem is that you are working backwards. You are working from the ideals that you wish to espouse and trying to find a way to hammer the real world to fit into them. But facts don't care about your feelings, sweetheart. That just doesn't work the way that you think it does. So you're never going to tear me down. You're never going to be able to refute me in the free marketplace of ideas. Oh God, it must hurt you so much to hear those words. Free marketplace of ideas. Because if you ever actually had to stick to your guns, lay down real definitions for what you're talking about, stick to those definitions, and then make everything work on a logical basis, you'd fail. You always do. This is why Ian Danskin's videos, and generally speaking, all of so-called leftist YouTube, bred to whatever you want to call it, all of the radical left YouTube junk that I see, uses the same manipulation tactics. It's all sociological in the end. You prime people to think yes. You give them a bunch of stuff that is difficult to agree with, or difficult to disagree with, and then, once you've primed them to be agree agreeable to you, you then go, oh, well, here. Here's a thing that might be a little bit less easy to agree with. Here's something you might normally challenge. But wait a minute. The way that I've presented it, you're not going to challenge it. You're primed to say yes. I agree with this. I agree with this. I agree with this. I agree with this. Oh, this guy makes sense. But that's the problem, is that it doesn't actually make sense once you hit that last point. So the guy saying, I agree with 80% of what Ian says, well, that makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? If you really think about it, wouldn't I agree with 80% of what he's saying when he's priming people to, to say yes? It's a sales tactic. It's all a sales tactic. You use stories to deactivate the critical centers of the mind. You use priming 
to get people to buy in, to get people into an affirmative posture so that they'll be more agreeable. And once you've deactivated the logic centers and you've primed them to be agreeable, you then introduce your new paradigm. It's not intellectual, it's not smart, it's deception, and it's bullshit. You will never be able to take me down rationally and logically because you motherfuckers are not capable of following simple logic. All you have is your stories and your tactics. But if someone actually calls you out on it and you had to defend yourself right there on the spot, you'd fail miserably every single goddamn time. You depressing, sad motherfuckers. So keep leaving your snarky comments. I appreciate the user interaction and the growth that you're bringing to my channel. It's really wonderful to see all this growth coming from you people. I love how you boost my user engagement stats and get more people subscribing to me. It's funny, I actually, ever since I've started putting up these alt-right playbook things, I, my subscriber counts have been going up. I wonder why. Oh, maybe it's because you idiots keep arguing with me, but you fail. And other people see it and they go, oh, this guy might have some good ideas, and they hit subscribe. Go to hell. Bye-bye.